Hey guys, Murugi Muni here. It's Lydia KM. And we're back again with another episode of The Messy In Between. It's, it's definitely, definitely TMI. <laughs> Episode seven. Episode seven. You know, seven is a very significant number. Oh in my the Bible. god! You know, you see how I was saying seven. Yeah. Like, am I? Is, is it seven? <laughs> Whoa! That's no, seven. Yeah, Whoa. I know. That's a lot. That's intense. We're like actual podcasters. We are. We yeah, are. I, I feel like one. I, I do. Mm. Ah, in between us, what can we say? We hit ten thousand subscribers on oh, YouTube oh my god. after six, after five episodes. After, actually, yeah, before yeah. the six episodes, oh and we god. are so grateful. Thank you so much for your support. You. We appreciate you so much. Parlor Instagram, we are still hoping to reach ten k. Yes. So follow us on TMI Podcast Ke. Mm -hmm. Now, last episode we talked about unspoken rules of situationships, and we hope we got some people we out of the so. ghetto, we hope. out of the ghetto, because yeah. that is the the hardest the hood. hood. That Ever hooded, yeah. Like mm, the said. hoodest we've ever hooded. God. Yeah. Um, and I mean, this is not really a hood. It, it can be good. Mm. Sex. Oh, We're yeah. talking about sex. Okay. Today. Hey. Wow. You're shouting. Intercourse. Sex. Sex. Coitus. Yes. Mm. That's what we're talking mm -hmm. about today. So today we're going to be talking about unspoken rules of sex. Now yeah. these are just the like you cannot. You know, I feel like sex should be free. Everyone should yeah. be free to do what they want. But something since it's like a two a partnership. Yes. Yes. You've exactly. got to be aware of some of these. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like it's like oh, obviously we are women, so we are speaking from our own perspective. But, yes. but I feel like a lot of them can apply to men as well. I think so. I yeah. Feel, majority I of mine, way, I feel yeah. like are more general, I'm more than general. Just a woman. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And please do tell us what some of yours are. Mm. On um in the comments if you're on YouTube or you can DM us on our TMI page on Instagram and let's talk let's talk about let's sex talk. you start oh I, I usually when I introduce I start but it's fine I'm happy go on, I'm go happy on. my first one is like the the one which is like dearest and closest to my wow, heart right dearest. it's dear Intense. to my heart <laughs> I know so this is my 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 first rule mm. everyone is responsible for their own pleasure mm -hmm. but. Ideally, you should also prioritize the other person's pleasure. Yeah. What I mean by the first part is that because you're responsible for your own pleasure, everybody, like, you can't get what you don't ask for. Mm -hmm. So if you come and you tell us, oh, you know, my husband or my boyfriend doesn't please me, but you've not told him, oh, babe, you know me, I actually like it when you caress my nipples. Yeah. Or me, actually, I don't like it when you touch my belly when mm -hmm. we're having sex. Mm -hmm. I like it. So for you to, to actually get pleasure in the sexual encounter, you yeah. have to have said. But when you're in the, in the, the general experience. activity, when you're in the experience, we have said we're not using the F word, okay? So yeah. it's, it's a struggle, yeah. it's a struggle. But when you're in the, in the experience, you obviously also need to be thinking, how can I make this person's experience positive? Yes. How can I help them reach orgasm, yes. right? Because I feel like that's the point. I actually agree. Yeah. I feel like if both people... I feel like... You feel Jehovah, like... I feel like... Uh -huh. um, I, <laughs> I feel like if I think about you and you think about me, mm. that's way better. Exactly. But as we go... If you know something happens, I'm like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa too, uh, 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 too much. Not that uh, one. Uh, not uh, there. Sim two. <laughs> no. You know? <laughs> not sim two. Sim two. Not, <laughs> no. I thought we were sim one. What oh, happened? One. But I'm then yeah. I can then make my exactly. pleasure, my responsibility yeah. by being accountable of how mm. I'm receiving what you're giving. Exactly. So yeah, I think that, that's a great rule. That's a good Especially one. for mm. women who I feel like we think men should just know. Exactly. And then when they don't know, they're horrible. Yeah. Whereas sometimes you need direction. They need direction because yeah. it's not like they've had sex with everyone. And yeah. they've not, if they've never had sex with you, then they might not know what you want specifically, they, right? Yeah, they might not know what yeah. you want anyway. I saw someone's <laughs> Instagram where they were talking about how the way we are, we are socialized and we are culturalized is that men are taking sex from us and we are yeah, giving, giving sex something. to them. Especially because they're yeah. entering us. Yeah, yeah. exactly, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, you're right. They're entering, they're entering us. us. So that's why they're wow. taking, they're taking from yeah, us. Yeah, but you yeah. need to realize is that if it's consensual, which mm -hmm. ideally it should be because otherwise it's not sex, it's rape. Yeah. Um, it's like every two people have decided that I want to come and be with this person. So that person has said, I want to be with this person. So you, it's both your responsibilities to make it a pleasurable experience for the other person and for yourself. I agree. That's a good one. Thank that's you. A good one. Thank you. Good start. Um, good start. Yeah, that's, ladies. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> and look at our women. The best. <laughs> I Naked love them. women. Today. I love, love them. It. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, this is mine. This is the first one I thought of as soon as we did. We said so rules. Mm -hmm. No farting. <laughs> 
I'm so sorry. Listen, this is this is a one time. is a natural response. Mm, ca- ca- can I finish my? Oh room? my god! You get to clench. No. What? <laughs> You only have how much, how many oh minutes to God. clench. I need you to clench because I'm not doing it. I'm so sorry. That is so horrible. And, I, and I'm not talking about the fart, the vaginal. Yeah, yeah the vaginal pussy fart. fart. The, I thought we, we're not we saying F word. Oh, oh, P, P, oh, it's fine. Oh, wow. That's, that, there, oh, it's not at the line pussy yet. Pussy fart. <laughs> there is, that one is like, there's nothing you can do about that. Yeah. But gassing during sex i feel like let's all respect ourselves <laughs> please respect the air that hap- that okay you know. listen i don't know I, let's let's take a step back no so and you like, let's make it okay. a rule so that if it happens when you oops. okay when you're in bed together like <laughs> yeah. when you're just sleeping yeah or like you're just no out. one needs to be sexy then Oh, so it's during sex, so now I should change. Like, we've been here in bed no. the whole day. I've been farting. But yeah. now since we start having sex, I can't yeah. fart. I need you I guess to I'm never it. having sex with Lydia I need then. You to, I need you to clench. <laughs> okay. I, I need that. Wow. I need that All from right. you. All right. That is, that is amazing. <laughs> okay. My yeah. next one. <sighs> if I have not expressly told you that I am okay with that new thing that you want to try, uh, yeah. please let's assume that I am not okay with it. Oh my Even God, if that's I one am, of mine. That's one yeah, of yours, right? If you're trying something new, get, yeah, let, please, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, please. I don't want to seem Two, we don't. Want, we don't I don't want to feel sim two until we have had a conversation. About sim Same two. as like somebody ejaculating in your on your face or in a your slap. hair or a sla- like. Please, <laughs> let's have had a discussion about this, and we've already discussed. Okay, fine. Either you're into it or you're not into it, and we have some safe words, right? Yeah. And it's like when I say this, please stop because I'm not comfortable. Yeah. And that's I for like so. women and men because I but know for both yeah, people. Yeah. yeah. Mm. For sure, that's mm. a. I feel like a lot of situations have happened where someone felt they were rushed into something because you've introduced something without really asking me for consent. Yeah. And then now I feel like I don't want to be that weirdo exactly. who's just like no no no. But by the way, don't feel bad about being the weirdo. If yeah. you're not happy about what's happening, just don't yeah. do it. But yeah, yeah let, let's give us a warning, a conversation, Please, even yeah, something. Exactly. I'm about. I'm yeah. a, I would like, <laughs> or just start with N. <laughs> and if it's like, <laughs> and we'll know what you're talking about and we'll instantly say no or we'll say yes. yes. Also, yeah, especially uh. for women, you know, sometimes like you start and you're just like, he's already been telling you about how all these are women he's ever been with are freaks and what, and you're trying to prove to him how much Please of a freak don't. you are. Please don't You'll be do so it. uncomfortable. It's so uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah absolutely and, don't. And you make, you make the thing more awkward because, you know, yeah. sex, I think is amazing when you're comfortable feeling absolutely. sexy in your zone. Yeah. Yeah. When you're not, mm. everyone in the community <laughs> is aware. And, so then mm. and then you'll fart. And then you'll fart and Lydia is out. <laughs> Lydia is gone. Now it's over. Lydia is left. <laughs> One, I feel, and I feel like this is, should be even like in general. Okay. No kink shaming. As you've said, if somebody wants to try something, they've got to give you a warning. Once they do, you've, you've got to make a safe space for the person who you're having, hey. right? Mm-hmm. No kink shaming. You want to kink shame. No, you. But, okay, no, but... It, oh! <laughs> oh, Lydia! Okay. You have come to talk today. Eh? Today you have come to talk. That's what you've decided. <laughs> what? I, let me tell you what I, how I feel about that. I just feel like sometimes you're not mentally prepared for what the other person is about to say. And then yeah. sometimes like your face will be like, oh, he'll be like, oh, I want to pee on you. And you'll be like, you know, it's like okay, oh, that's a natural that's, reaction. I know you want to shame do it. Yeah, yes. yeah. But now the extra of oh my god, that's so disgusting. Okay, yeah, like no, what no, would you no, do not that? Required. Yes. Yeah, I mm-hmm. personally feel like I would. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell who the kinky one in this uh, duo here is. It's I feel me. like I'm I'm willing to breathe any through anything. I'm able to explain why I want to do certain things okay. without having to shame. I feel like there's nothing. Okay, yeah. bomber. Shaming, shaming is not because yeah. then the other person is just it's uncomfortable, uncomfortable and now they'll never tell you anything else they want to and do. And I feel like sex that's amazing is when you feel like you can bring anything. No, no, it's not necessarily gonna happen and people yeah. are allowed to have yeah. their own personal boundaries. Mm. But just I can just think of oh, what am I thinking about today? And I can bring it and it's just like yeah, oh, okay, exactly. or at least mm, you know, that's where I draw my line, you yeah, know? Yeah. yeah. But also, I feel like it's not with all partners. Like, by the time you start bringing your deep, deep <laughs> kinks, it's probably like you've known each you, other a while. But you know, that's first us. Date. No, there ah, are some people who on are... On first date. Th- you're yeah. already like, oh, this is what I'm into. Because what if the only thing you're into is okay, kink? that makes sense. Like, the that first thing sense. is just yeah. like, I like to be kneed in the face. Exactly. Ooh. Knee me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Knee me in the face. I like to be struck <laughs> in the neck. <laughs> On that note, can I go to my next rule? Because it's it's closely related to that. My next rule Mm. is, 
you can pull my hair, but not too hard, please. I need my edges. I need my edges. You can choke me, but not. I'm not trying to die. Yeah. I'm not trying to die. You yeah. can slap me, but not strike me. Don't. Don't. I don't want to be struck. <laughs> I don't want to be struck. I just want to be lightly slapped here and there. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, like, please. This is not a boxing match. We are not fighting. It's sex. So if you're going to but do something, and you know, a man will just be like, then uh, the more he's seeing you enjoying it, he's the slapped you once, and you're like, oh, that was so good, and then he slapped you again. By the time now it's a punch. <laughs> Not a punch. Please, please. We are not fighting. Just keep it light. Keep it light. If I'm seeing my mom tomorrow, I don't want to be explaining why one side of my face is swollen and red. Especially like when we are all still trying to yeah. figure each other out. <laughs> I know somebody who yeah. was struck. You know, Ooh. and that experience is still I was struck yeah. during sex. It wasn't like, oh yeah. It, it was, was just it was nasty. Because mm-hmm. it wasn't expected. Oh, and yeah. then now it's really hard to come back yeah. from the fact that I feel like I've been hit. Yes. <laughs> Unless it was like, on her ass. Was it on her ass? No. I feel like on, on her face. On the ass, you can always yeah. go. On but you know, yeah, there's yeah. actually people who don't like being hit on the ass. What? I know. If that's you, please unsubscribe. We can't have that kind no, of energy here. No, no, unkink shaming. Oh, please God. subscribe again. <laughs> please <laughs> come please back. resubscribe. Come back. <laughs> yeah, I find what I know. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. This is another one. Hygiene is a must, right? I'm not dealing with your must. Okay, the mask down there really, really reeks if you're not <laughs> all the way together. You know. And do you know what? I feel like I'm a hard worker. You know, I'm a hard worker and I want to hard work hard for you. <laughs> but then I go downstairs and now I'm going to come up. Because <laughs> I'm just going to pretend I was tying my shoes and now I'm here. Because I'm not dealing with... <laughs> you know, all, all your rules, somehow I'm disagreeing with them, guys. Why? Because like to me, hygiene is different from like the natural mask that occurs as a result of day to day. You know, That's like sometimes... Completely yeah, normal. So like, let's say mm. you've gotten home, you've mm. both gotten home from work. Yeah. And you've not gone to shower. Because not everybody showers I don't showers think that's sex, a lack yeah? of hygiene. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because not, it's just like not the natural, all sex but is not... going to be planned. Yeah. Yeah. But then I feel like two, three days of not cleaning under... Oh God. Who is not doing that? Who is not? Have you gone on the internet? Have you gone into <laughs> the internet? I, I, I have not gotten that part of the internet. Oh my God. Please. Please, if that's you, please shower. Hi- I feel please. like hygiene... Yeah. If- and you can't prepare for sex so I don't feel like there should be pressure like oh you my god I haven't shower. showered yeah. today so then what's gonna happen mm. but I feel like if it's two three days or I don't know what's happening yeah. in your life yeah. or you're not cleaning properly like if you're clean then it's a safe space for me because yeah. I feel like it's, it's it's I think it's assault yeah when I actually you have was, it was on someone's stories yeah. and they were saying they were with a guy who for him he cannot have sex with her until she has showered like right before the sex like you cannot, we are, you don't even get so in the bed. So all sex has you to must, be planned. Yeah, then. exactly. You always all anticipate. If you're having foreplay, then he'll just be like, "Oh, babe, maybe you should go take a shower." <laughs> oh, you're gonna clean for me. Are you gonna wash <laughs> yourself <laughs> for, for me? me? <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, I guess you see we are, don't kink shame because maybe that's his kink is really really clean women. So, oh, you know, gosh. we can't. Yeah, okay, we can't say. Anyway, mm. my next one. <clears throat> Speaking on that same point of hygiene, it is everybody's responsibility kujipanguza afterwards, okay? If I want, I can decide to bring for you a warm towel, which, by the way, during my uh, wedding, uh, what do you call it, these pre-wedding ceremonies, mm-hmm. all the women kept saying, you know, after sex, you must go and get a warm. You have to have put a bucket there next mm-hmm. to the bed and wipe him after you're done. Who's wiping me? Yeah. First of all, the cam was in, is in me. Mm-hmm. So, like, who, I'm, I'm the priority here. And that feeling, so, like, we can't really I know, right? right so, now. everybody yeah. should just have the responsibility of wiping themselves afterwards. Yeah. I have found that T-shirt works well both ways, mm. but you know, you choose. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I enjoy doing the wiping, but you, you gotta be somebody for you're me. You're too much. Why? You're too much. Are you Why? serious? I'm I'm too much. Oh, you're just you, enough. I'm you're just, just enough. enough. Yeah, I'm just so enough. Just, <laughs> guys, my I'm friendship was enough. on the line for a second. <laughs> <laughs> woo! Oh god. I'm just enough. I enjoy mm. that, but it's not an expectation. You That's know, it's not like it shouldn't now be laid an back. expectation. Yeah. Like oh, yeah, okay. exactly. So Sally, the maid, <laughs> got this together. You Not know? Sally. <laughs> oh, Sally. Oh, oh Sally. 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 I'm attacking you, Sally. Yeah, but I think that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been wiped? Maybe that's the problem is I've never been wiped. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Okay. I know. Okay. <laughs> um, well, okay, you know, I've never been wiped like kind of like, okay, he's dusting himself off and then he just like, oh, yeah. 
you know, places it or <laughs> there, but not like actively like all oh, lay back, baby. Let I got me, this. I like, got you. this. <laughs> exactly. All it's right. Mo- yeah. Okay. I, mm. I, I see why that's yeah. your really Plus me, about most that. times after the sex, I'll run to the toilet to I, pee. I, oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Pee. Peeing is extremely yeah, let's important. Just make that's that. not a rule. It's advice. Yeah, it's advice. Please just pee after sex, pee babes. After yeah. sex for mm. sure. All right. Um, my other one is please make some noise. <laughs> God. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how you sound. We're like this. And no, Please, okay, maybe are you being hurt? Yeah, when say something. When he's ejaculating, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> done, <laughs> done. It's out. It's out. <laughs> and we're and we're and we're over. <laughs> and like you know what? <laughs> we're going to need some. We're going to need something. What? Yeah, yeah. We're going I, to need something. I yeah. am definitely an excessive. Like, oh, me too. Uh, uh, yeah, noise. it makes sense. Overly <laughs> noisy. <laughs> <laughs> all of it right yeah but i don't expect everyone else to be like that but i would re- like just like you know mm. are you here are yeah. you here with me you know yeah. are you lost? even a few are old you babies a few like old you babies. know uh, mm. some a mm. grant a can grant. we get a grant yeah, something you, you know, know? Yeah. yeah i feel like that's really important because it's part of like somebody understanding what's working and how, what yeah, isn't working exactly. is the pace okay like it should i slow are you down enjoying this yeah yeah please Mm. Make some noise. Make Thank some you. noise. All right. All right. <clears throat> My next one, I think I had one which was similar to mm. that one. On 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 saying things during sex. Mm. What is said during the sexual experience? Mm. Doesn't count. It doesn't yeah. count. So if we were doing it and then I was like, oh, I love you. I love you. You're the best I've ever give had. Me Likely, give no. me kids. Likely. Give me kids. I want your baby. Especially that one. No. <laughs> It was just, it, we were just in the motion of things. I don't necessarily love you. I don't necessarily want your children. It's just, we were just doing the thing. So she's she, she, she clear, Sana. And don't be asking me tomorrow. Yesterday, when we were having sex, no you way. said that, no. Yeah. But you know, yeah, that is, and I know Lydia, you're probably one of those ones. No, 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 no. Are you? No, 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 no. Okay. You're Unless not I love you. You're just like, oh, Sarah. Well, we're going to have a conversation <laughs> about that, brother friend. You know? But aside you're going that, to stop in the middle just because he said Sarah. Yeah, what, what if Sarah is his mom? We gotta go into it's that. Right we gotta now. unpack that. How about we unpack it after? Are you going to stop the you're rhythm? You're so weird. Don't, me, I won't no, stop the you're rhythm. not weird. You are just enough. Oh, you're weird. just perfect. You are just You better normal. hold my hand. Thank you. <laughs> okay, fine. Another one. This one is a bit of a more serious one. Oh. <clears throat> if at any point during the sexual experience, mm-hmm. one partner decides that they are not enjoying it and they want to stop, that no is a final no. No conversation, So even period. if we are in the middle and you're about to ejaculate and I say, no, actually, I'm not comfortable. I don't want to continue. Mm-hmm. That should be taken as a final. It's not like, oh, she probably just, I just need to go faster. No, you don't need to do anything yeah. except to stop because she said no. And vice versa, because mm-hmm. also a man can just be like, maybe he's not enjoying it and he wants to stop. And when they say no, yeah. the rule is you stop. If I you know. Said no is no. Is but no, also, no. like, you know, like others, we won't name okay, them, I mean, who <laughs> say things like, oh, stop, oh, stop, oh, stop, <laughs> daddy, stop. <laughs> now you are stopped. Doesn't mean much. So maybe you need to use I other, mean, words. other words. Yeah. Please stop now. This is uncom- <laughs> You need to accept. Exactly. I'm not enjoying this. This is not, yeah. This please has stop. gone yeah. way too far. Yes. Yeah. Okay, fine. Also, Agreed. Yeah, um, also, what I wanted to say <laughs> is, <laughs> um, um, when, when you say anything um during sex, yeah, mm. there is no limit to what's happening. Please don't re- Restrict me on the things I'm going to say. Like what? What are you going to say? Just say. What is it? I mean, we need to know for context. I love me, dad, and I'm joking. Oh. No, that, <laughs> I've That's always super. wanted your affirmation. Yes, please validate me. Validate me. me. I feel oh, okay, like there, got should, it. there should be room. However, yeah. mm. um, when we talk about... Oh, yeah, this was actually my rule. When we talk about um how we dirty talk, I don't think it means insult. And I saw someone Ooh. say this, yeah? That they went on a date with this guy and, you know, everyone knew we were just here to hook up, etc., etc. And, you know, he was like, you know, do you like it dirty? Do you mm. like me talking dirty? She was like, oh, ooh, yeah, I love it. Mm. And then his thing was, oh, look at you. You're such a bee and your hair is messy and nasty and greasy. She left there thinking like, okay, my friend. So it's like, it's some people are into that. I am also I'm just I just feel like oh, your I hair feel like, is so no. disgusting Joe. Okay, why my hair? Comb not your my hair. hair. No, okay, no. not like that, but like you know how sometimes you can be like, yeah. "Oh, you're just so dirty." Like, you know, you whore. Okay, see kind no, of no. Thing. Yeah, see no, like, that's sexual okay. related, not but like then, random things. Yeah, yeah. what? <laughs> That's exactly what she said. Oh. He was attacking her, oh, like okay. her, her visual. That's an issue. He he's traumatized. He needs to. He exactly. needs to work on himself. So I yeah. feel like let's go to the direction of exaggeration yeah. more than descriptions. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Joe. laughs> 
<laughs> so don't describe what you what I what you think of me now when we're talking dirty. I, I, <laughs> Sorry, I, yeah, I that, that's it. one. And I really thought, I, I never knew that we could go there, but okay, who so are men? Like, like, <laughs> I've never seen so much cellulite on a woman before. Those are the most stretch marks I've ever seen. Huh? Yeah, that's <laughs> dirty talking. So, you know, you guys, you guys define that, by the way. I'm sorry. Define, <laughs> define what dirty talking is because <laughs> things can get really personal. I know. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah. fine. Guys, I think my last one now. <clears throat> My last one. Mm. The sex is not over until we have both climaxed. The Please. End. The end. And yeah. as I extended, unless the mm. comer, the second comer <laughs> decides they're done. Yeah, exactly. If I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm tired. tired and that I was good enough. Yeah, exactly. That. But if yeah. we, we have not both said, okay, now it's time to stop, then it, please keep going. Because just because you're done doesn't yeah. mean I'm done. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so this is a question I actually have. I because I've my makeup. With oh, I'm that. sorry, babe. <laughs> One of my questions which I had was, because I was going to say, mm. coming inside someone is like, whoa, mm. that, that's like a deeper level. That's something which you need yeah. to consent yeah, to, right? Sure. You can't mm. just do it without. But then now, it's like, do they decide what, what, where, they, where they take it? I mean, what happens? Is it like yeah. if either it's inside or on top of you or is it to the sheet? What happens? I feel like, uh, should, is that a discussion for before the sex? Yeah, no, but you, you can't really like, know. That's weird. Because, yeah, you wouldn't yeah, really so do it. Yeah, so what's the unspoken rule I think of it's that? Like, you know what? The unspoken rule, for example, of when a guy is about to ejaculate, mm. he should tell you. It shouldn't just be like a surprise. Me, I don't like when it's a surprise. Really? Yeah, I like when you you tell me, oh, I'm about to. I'm about to. Yeah. So then I can be like, oh, do it on the sheets or mm. do it on my tummy mm. or mm. do it on my mm. wood legs or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Then at least we can you can say as the woman, you can direct. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. There you go. That's the unspoken rule. Yeah. For the man, man ask when you're about or, or, or to mention, yeah, that to you're about come, to mm. please say so that someone can direct you as yes. well as where <laughs> you would deposit. Yeah. It. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like an aircraft mm. landing. You'll just be like this way, down this way, my legs, or if I want my face, yeah. you know, my hair. Yeah. 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 That's okay. pretty straightforward. Like, let's, with, we can seal this with one more, mm -hmm. which is sex should be fun. Yeah. Sex should be fun for everyone. It, it should, should be fun be. for both partners. Mm. It should be the place where you express, express yourself, yourself, where you are allowed mm. to be free, you know? And where so, you express your love for your partner or your like or your partner or whoever. Or, yeah, exactly. Or, or the other you person. Are, you, where you just enjoy where yourself. You just enjoy, you know? yourself. Yeah. enjoy yourself. Mm. So yeah, mm. those are our, our unspoken rules of sex. <laughs> um, some obviously even Joe disagree with some of mine. Ooh. But please let us know in the comments. We really want to have this conversation. Yeah. We want to have an open conversation. One we can, where we can both learn. And no shaming in the comments. Mm. No, you that's disgusting. Exactly. Let's have an open conversation and let's grow together. Why exactly. not? Exactly. And yeah. we, I, I would like to think that we describe ourselves as sex positive for women. Sure. We are definitely sex positive. Yeah. We are not sex shamers at all. Mm -hmm. we, we, are, we are for the generation of women who is like, yes, we, we love our bodies. We own our bodies. Our pleasure and is our responsibility. Sexual and we love sex. Yeah. Exactly. We, we love, love sex. sex. <laughs> Changing! Changing. <laughs> Guys, you guys are the real superstars. 10K subscribers. Me, by the way, by the way, it's just, it's Jesus and it's you guys in between us. For Honestly, real. we love you so much. And want to shout out some of you guys who have been commenting on our YouTube page. We love all the comments. Like, we look at all of them, we laugh. And you guys are we funny. Love, you guys are funny. Like, honestly, there are some, we need to be having like fans sometimes come on these episodes honestly. because like, you guys are hilarious. <laughs> um, so from our last episode, which was the unspoken rules of situationships, which you guys seem to really love. Um, Rose, you said, I wish TMI podcast came earlier. I could be, I could have been saved the three years I stayed in that situationship. Three years. Ooh. Three years. Lord, thank God it's not five. Because oh, when it gets to five, now you're now married. You're married. You're definitely so married. <laughs> Someone else said another rule that they were sharing of an unspoken rule is don't let his boys lie or confuse you that the guy is really into you. Yeah. You know, they come and say, that like, lie, I've, I've never, never seen, seen him, but he's this happy. Like, they've honestly, been sent. The demons exactly. have been sent. And they have said that to 12 women <laughs> before That you. week. That week. <laughs> <laughs> exactly okay Becky you're saying situationship sounds so stressful I think this can only work for people who can exercise healthy detachment easily sex with one person many times over will definitely lead to some attachment which oh, is yeah. absolutely true I it's think so, so and true. you know what I feel like this is something I was really struggling to admit to myself mm. you know there's this thing you just feel like no yeah. I'm carefree and exactly. sexual mm. you know but I feel like you should only be in those situations with someone who you think it's almost impossible to be with Yeah, but that's what I thought that's what you I was just about to say that because she was like no me it's just i mean it's just it's loose you know it's casual and i was like 
Here, Here she is we now. Are. She, is she lives. <laughs> she lives with the man. Two months from now, hubby. Wait. <laughs> Babe, we said, oh, we, no we said there's a rule. Oh, no, no hubby. hubby. Yeah, I told no her, yeah, hubby. please, I'll have to no. block you the day you message me and say, hubby is coming to pick me up. Mm-mm, done. You? Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, sorry, we have um, Rhonda Mwende who's saying, who else feels like Murugi and Lady are the big sisters we never had? I mean, we totally relate to these episodes. Thank oh, you so thank much. Thank you, guys. I feel like we have we have really lived life. Yeah. And so when we are sharing, it's like, we know. Exactly. We, we, yeah, exactly. But we don't know. we're big sisters. We might just be the same age, guys. We're not yeah. that old. I feel like we probably are, but are people, we... people call us big sisters from place of like knowledge. Of knowledge yeah. and wisdom. And wisdom. Okay. Yes. I love it. That's true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we have... Someone else, this is CL who said, I have never related to a, yeah, CL, I have never related to a video like I did this one. I was in a situation, I was very clear, I knew Ooh. no feelings attached, then COVID happened and it imbalanced me mentally. Oh, no. All I wanted was a listening ear, my friend, but he vamboozled oh, and, for, uh, and found solace elsewhere. Wow. We had agreed if either of us find a partner to let the other know, I knew exactly what I was doing. Mm. The, um, he once texted, I love you, I ignored. Yes, it was protected Ooh. all through. Okay, I feel like okay. you've respected a lot of those yeah, rules. I think that's pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Um. So there's somebody who did ask actually in the DM, Yeah. can you please talk about the situation in the situationships where mm. um, you both have agreed that you don't, you, you're not going to be physical you know, with other yeah. people. Oh. Yeah. And then that. I feel I like feel at that point now it's a relationship because once you're being exclusive, what mm. makes a relationship a relationship? Now we're exclusive. I, I don't feel understand. like this yeah. is what I actually feel like. I feel like mm. guys say that to mm. give you the comfort of exclusivity so that they can have that, but they're not. But they're because not, the yeah. second a guy Ooh. wants to just just for real be mm. with just you, then yeah, he's going to be not with just be? you. Exactly. I feel like that's what guys do. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's so a lie. Don't, mm. Either you guys are together together or, or, you're, or we, are, we are we are we are just we are. dating exactly. And even though you even if you lie to yourself, know that it's probably not true. I know, right? Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for your comments. We really love engaging with you. We love the fact that you engage with us. Remember to also follow us on our Instagram page, TMI Podcast Ke, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have not already subscribed, join the TMI family. Be an in betweener. Hey guys, so as you know, we love to support small businesses here because small businesses build our economy. And today we're going to be plugging two businesses that you should definitely check out. The first one that I'm going to plug is Vita Farm Cosmetics and Pharmacy. These guys sell all kinds of like makeup and skincare, literally things that sometimes you might go to a store and you don't find them. Things like uh, very specific Neutrogena products, very specific simple products, very specific La Roche-Posay products, and amazing, amazing like original makeup. Guys like Revlon, Maybelline, LA Girl. Girls, LA, LA girls. Wow. <laughs> LA girls. LA girl. And just like really beautiful stuff. I feel like they are very reasonably priced. So you won't find like more expensive than you'd find it else- elsewhere. Plus they can deliver. They are based on Moy Avenue. But check out their Instagram page to see all the stuff that they have and DM them if you have any queries. The second business we are plugging today is Kenchik Butchery. Guys, we are all about healthy eating and there's nothing more important than making sure that where you are getting your meats, your drumsticks, your T-bone steaks, whatever you're cooking is somewhere that can be trusted. And Kenchik Butchery literally is that place. It, they're so convenient. They sell any kind of things that you're looking for. They can make you be the chef that you are dreaming of. So anytime you want to get any kind of meat that is fresh, and it's nutritious and it's tasty, make sure you go to Kenchik Butchery. They are in Hallingham and they deliver, which is, I feel like, the most convenient thing ever because I am tired of having to go to that butchery. So make sure you check them out. That's their Instagram page and you can call them direct and order your next drumstick. Drumstick. <laughs> <laughs> So today on TMI Talk, um, we have a really interesting dilemma. Now for TMI Talks, what we do is we get any dilemmas we have on our DMs. That is on, on the TMI Podcast KE Instagram. And we look through them and then we're going to share our personal humble opinion humble, yeah. over mm-hmm. it, right? Now, this is something sometimes we haven't always experienced, but we just try to think like how we could put ourselves in your shoes and do the very best we can um, the very best we can to advise you on how to move forward, yeah? If you have any dilemmas, please DM us. You can DM us on our personal pages. We're going to see them and we'll come to you. Now, 
Um, let me start by saying I'm a huge fan. So I have this burning question and I want to ask your audience as well. And yes, please participate, guys. If you do mm. have an opinion on this TMI talk, please let us know in the comments if you are listening, to, um, watching us on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been in a relationship with this guy for 10 years and we've, we've, we even have a kid together. The other day I asked him to call my phone as I had misplaced it. Then he goes ahead and asks me what my number is because he was driving and was using Bluetooth car app. Is this normal? Am I overreacting to think that it's to think that it's not normal for your spouse to not know your telephone number of head? Ooh. Okay. I mean, I can see how um I can see how you probably think that it's a big deal. And one thing that I have learned to tell women is that if you think it's a big deal, it's a big deal. No one can tell you that you're overreacting about anything because what means little to us might mean mm -hmm. a lot to you. So if you feel like it's a big deal, then it's a big deal. What I would recommend is you go and just have a conversation with him and just say, babe, and not in a, you did this, you did this, in just like a, babe, so the other day I found it interesting that you asked me to tell you your number. Um, I would I would think that after 10 years, you'd probably know my number off head. Um, is there a reason why you don't know it? And he might tell you something like, oh, you know, I've never thought to memorize it because your number has always been saved as babe or caramel sweetheart on my phone like <laughs> for the longest like yeah. I don't know I personally feel like would it be a big deal to me? Probably. I would mm. feel kind of bad because like right now I'm always asking my husband my ID number and if he gets it wrong I always feel a little bit bad like I'll just be like yeah. ha 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 but I'm just like you need to know it. <laughs> like, forget phone number, ID number. Jeez. Yeah. What do you think? Um, for me personally, mm. um, as Joe said, what you feel is a big deal. Mm. That's something that means that it's important to you. Yeah. So it's not necessarily just from the place of it's a big deal that it's a bad thing. It's mm. more of it's a big deal because I would like him to. Mm. Like, it's better to go and be like, hey, babe, I noticed you don't know my number. I would really like you to. I would like you to learn it because it matters to me. Mm. It makes me feel like you took the time to memorize my number and I also feel secure that if anything does happen you have my number I think always communicating from a place of what you want yeah. and why it's important to you as opposed to why you've done this horrible bad thing exactly. is a safer place mm. for me I'm not the number rememberer so I know I've been sat down like we why, are having why? <laughs> this conversation about yeah. me not knowing my number yeah. and I just feel like it's 2021 I put down your number and your name I'm not going to remember it unless yeah. unless I've gone over putting it so many times and that yeah. doesn't happen these days. Mm. If, for example, my man wants me to remember, I am going to make an effort to remember. When he doesn't know mine, I'll just be mm. like, ah, oh my gosh, you don't know, but really, I just, I feel like there are so many other things I need you to keep in your head okay. and sometimes numbers doesn't count. But 10 years with a kid... I mean, this I is even, even, I just this feel even like how safety. long it's been yeah. just from the way you see someone's Come number. On, right? I think you would have known. But yeah, me more safety than anything. Yeah, exactly. So if you're out and you're, you're stranded, that's Who it. You, you calling? can't it's not know. You calling. Yeah. yeah. Okay, forget your man, Lydia. Mm, mm. Do you know my number of it? No, I don't even know if it's 07. Oh One my or God. Are you serious? Nothing. Even me. <laughs> All right, yeah, but I anyway, think, yeah. Yeah, maybe like back in the day, I would automatically have to exactly, know Joe's number. Yeah. But now I feel like that's a thing more from a place of it's not exactly as practical to know someone's it's number not, of hair. Yeah, it's kind of like having like business cards. Like who gives out business cards anymore? Yeah. I feel like some people do, but it's like almost like an outdated thing. Plus mm. these days you communicate on like, Insta I'm more likely to remember someone's Instagram handle yeah. than I am to remember their phone number, to I be know, honest. Yeah. At underscore Lydia KM, I can tell you that's yes, Lydia. I can't, yes. I can't. Yeah, <laughs> see, the times are changing yeah. yeah but if it's a big deal to you as we've mentioned just communicate him to. your partner is not a mind reader he to him it just might not be he's probably never even thought about it but mention it to him yeah. and then have the conversation from there 100 percent. that's yes. a really good one actually guys let us know mm. has your partner ever forgotten your number does your partner even know your number in the first place mm -hmm. let us know if you're watching us on youtube um on, in the comments talk to us and if you have any other dilemmas for tmi talk dm us i love TMI how she says that tmi talk tmi talk Talk. <laughs> DM us on TMI Podcast KE. We want to hear it and we appreciate you for trusting us with your dilemmas. So today for It's Messed Up, we are going to play This or That, but a sex edition. It, I just felt like it made sense. It just felt like it made it's sense because we have been talking about rules of sex. So I just have some questions and you just answer this one or that one. And I will also do the same. Okay. Okay. The only rule I have for this game is absolute honesty. As usual. As you, as, as, wait, as I even have to tell you that. Why? Yeah. Okay, fine. First one. He loses his erection during sex or you get your period during sex. 
I get, get my, my period. period. That's his yeah. mess. Exactly. <laughs> oops, it's not for my you. oops. Sounds like a you problem. Plus, it sounds like additional lubrication. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Um, your parents walking on you having sex, mm. or you walking on your parents having sex? Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a. T- I would rather. I would rather they walk in on me, cause they've seen me like naked all the time when I was a child. I would rather that one. As long you're as right, you're as right, long as you're it's right. missionary, not Actually, like some some crazy style. Just, <laughs> just missionary. No, me, I can't mm. trust. I would just be like a casual, <laughs> warm. Yeah, no. Um, but yeah, no, yeah. I feel like yeah, let them walk let in them on walk me. In, yeah, because they're like, oh, also mm-hmm. you can go to therapy about this, exactly. honey. Exactly. <laughs> not your man no. you would probably also need therapy honestly <laughs> you'd probably need um handcuffs or blindfold blindfold yeah so that my that my other senses become more alert yeah. because one is covered but if your hands are held also your hand like your touch senses are uh like removed why you can still touch i babe. feel like i would want handcuffs yeah i yeah. also feel like handcuffs i've seen so many things go left I, in that <laughs> Oh my god like the yeah. handcuffs and then he'll be like okay so i have your number <laughs> now who's this <laughs> I've, I've seen actually, a god yeah. do that. See, do that. Yeah, I've watched a movie where <laughs> this this chick was put on handcuffs, and then the guy was really heavy, and he had a stroke on top of her and died. So she's in handcuffs, and then he has a stroke and he dies. Yeah, on no, top I feel of her. like handcuffs. Too yeah, much. it's a bit. It's a bit yeah, much. More it's a bit, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. Um, boobs or bum? Boobs. Bum. I'm a bum girl. Yeah, boobs for yeah, me. Boobs for you. What we attracted to? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. boobs. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, funny enough, it's like boobs. Naked, but bum in clothes. Yeah, bum in clothes. Bum in clothes. Bum in clothes for bum sure. In clothes always. Yeah. 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 <laughs> agreed. Agreed. Okay. Um, sex once a week or sex three times a day every day. Three times a day. <laughs> wait, wait. Three times <laughs> a times? day. No. Sex on... once a week or three times once a day. Once a week. Once a week. No, because I get periods. I can always maintain once a week. Yeah. But I can't always maintain oh three i can times i can week. maintain oh God, i can wow. do it oh, i can no. do it uh-huh. all right um loud sex from your neighbors or you're the loud neighbors i'm, I'm always the loud, loud neighbor <laughs> I, wish I, lived, I wish i lived right next door oh, you to can you ima- you know yeah what, you know, I know what i see it, it's like she's always screaming here in this that's what you can expect in her bedroom <laughs> um bare or trimmed for your mans no trim not even trim like trim bush. like yeah, even like bush. a good yeah. hairy forest <laughs> Yes, <laughs> exactly. I just feel like it makes them even ampitia. More grizzly. Even ampitia. Yeah. Imagine. I I'm just all feel here like for it. so. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's, it's just so manly. Cave money. Yeah, but yeah. for a woman, I feel like bear for me personally. personally. Yeah, yeah, I I want I to be bear exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cowgirl or missionary? Hey, missionary. Cowgirl is work. Uh, and see, that's the thing. Can you maintain cowgirl Ooh. all the time? Yeah, I mean honestly, and, yeah. for, and then reverse cow. <laughs> It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Missionary. Regret sleeping with someone or regret never trying to sleep with someone? Or regret sleeping with someone. Yeah, for sure. Any that one day. is something you've already done, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, older partner or younger per- partner? Younger partner. Okay. We know. I- <laughs> and she, she, you are looking straight at the camera as you're saying that. Oh All right. Um, spit or swallow? Swallow. <clears throat> I, I can't even imagine a world where I spit. Swallow, right? God. And spitting, where do you spit to? What like happens? The, to the, like, yeah. oh, oh, what happens oh. to... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she's she's swallowing. Okay, fine. Last one. Um, no, wait first. This, this one is really funny. Wrinkly vagina or saggy breasts? I already breasts. have saggy breasts, like, so I'm gonna take cares? them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like that's okay, life. Cares? As in, they're gonna be saggy anyway. One day, Eventually. right? Eventually. Yeah, yeah. But no. and all vaginas kind of wrinkly, like a little bit. No, I feel like wrinkly, not like you know the shape, but like yeah, wrinkles, I mean, like the the lips. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, not lips. Not lips. <laughs> oh God. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> would you rather a small penis or a premature ejaculator? Oh my god, those are I know both. horrific. Wow. Um I wanna plead the fifth on this one because I would rather none and I don't wanna speak that into no, my you gotta life. Say you know? this that. That's what the game is. Oh, okay. that. So you I'll say the premature ejaculator. Because really? I, I, I at least I'll feel something. So but this small <laughs> one is just like even if you're if you're hard for two hours, but you know it's been small away. is relative, I feel. But small we're saying is relative. Small, baby carrot, as you said. Okay, fine, baby carrot. Okay, <laughs> With your fine. Big old I think, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, baby, you started. You decided to start with your finger. No, that's my, that's my me. <laughs> that's me, baby. Why is that his that's voice? That's all me. <laughs> oh 
god. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll take the premature ejaculation. You can, you can always masturbate yeah. afterwards. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, last one. Marry your very first boyfriend or never get married. My first first boyfriend yeah. was pretty good. Like your yeah. first official boyfriend. Yeah, you don't know how he is now though, because your first boyfriend was probably when you were like twelve or thirteen. I still know him. Like um, I've, yeah, we've communicated here and there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, I, I think, think also so. I would marry my first boyfriend. Yeah. 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 All right. Anyway, guys, <laughs> let us know what you selected in your this or that sex edition. <laughs> Thank you for playing along with us. <laughs> Ooh, guys, that was fun. If there's one thing we love talking about, it's sex. <laughs> sex. And you know what? We really hope you have enjoyed this episode. We really try to come from the point of view of our own experience, but also things that we enjoy. And we enjoy sex. Mm-hmm. And we feel like a mature adult can enjoy sex if it's in a safe, loving, and like comfortable environment. And that's what we always advocate for. Yeah. We really hope you've enjoyed watching this episode as much as we have enjoyed mm-hmm. shooting it, guys. Please remember to subscribe, tap the notification bell so you get notified notified as soon as a video drops and we d- special shout out to the guys the premier gang have oh, you seen those guys the premier so gang many. 12 they're, they're there I'm they're like, there you got, we love you guys we appreciate so, you much. so much we love you so much yeah so if you want to be part of the premier gang make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the notification mm-hmm. button so that at 12 they you- will tell you TMI has posted and let me speak for the people who you know women speaking loudly and this confidently about sex is not always this exposed yeah. so if you're feeling a bit of tension as you watch this if you're feeling a little triggered breathe through it it's breathe. okay <laughs> breathe, ask babe. yourself why <laughs> You know, have a chat with yourself and let's be yeah. more open and just encourage each other to have more conversations like this. Absolutely. Women are having the same sex as men because men are having sex with people, right? With people. So it's yep. that, mm-hmm. also, right? Mm-hmm. Thank you. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much guys for watching. We appreciate you and see you on episode eight. Hey! See you guys <laughs> next time. Bye. Bye.